Yo, Albie, thought I'd swing by before you blow humanity's collective noodle with that cute little equation of yours. Rick Sanchez, I calculated a 0.0001% chance you'd show up. And yet here you are, dripping portal goo on my carpet. That's relativity, baby. Speaking of which, E equals M squared. Why don't we finally tell people what it actually means before their brains melt? Trying to guess. Yes, you, doom scrolling, like a caffeinated goldfish. Pause your existential crisis for 60 seconds, cause this equation, it's the key to unlimited energy, nukes, and why your mass means more than just your weight on Earth. E equals MC squared. Energy equals mass multiplied by the speed of light squared. Sounds simple, but it implies that mass and energy are the same thing, just in different forms. Translation. Matter like you, me, your cat, is basically condensed energy. That cookie you ate, it's a ticking energy bomb, if you knew how to convert it. A single paperclip, if entirely converted to energy, could power a city for a day. Or, you know, vaporize it. Nuclear bombs? They're just math tantrums based on this equation. The C squared makes the difference. The speed of light is enormous. So squaring it makes even a tiny amount of mass equal a gigantic amount of energy. Yeah, imagine converting your entire grandma into raw energy. Boom, enough juice to toast the moon. Still watching? Good, cause here's the real kicker. If mass and energy are interchangeable, then technically you're never really still. Even when you're doing nothing, your atoms are vibrating with the potential to become something massive or explosive. The universe is made of transformation, not stagnation. Deep, almost poetic. You should start a TED talk. So next time someone says, you don't matter, remind them, according to E equals MC squared, you're literally a freaking ball of infinite cosmic potential. Just don't try to harness it in your garage. Smash that like button. Subscribe before I convert your phone into gamma rays.